What's up guys, it's Tile Time once again. I uh, wanted to uh, make a quick little video, talk to you about a couple of things going into the weekend. Uh, one thing I want you to uh, kind of focus on for this 5K is for tomorrow, uh, especially during the, uh, the run that we're gonna be completing tomorrow. Let's try to push until we actually hit the complete distance of the 5K. So tomorrow the programming specifically is going to entail uh, an interval to get you to uh, 3.2 miles, whatever 5P is. <laughs> so uh, that's the uh, first thing I want to be talking about. Also, say thanks for um, to everybody that participated in J28 on 9-11. Uh, those of you that contributed to the Mark Forrester Memorial Fund, thank you. And I want to mention really quick, you know, uh, there's lots of great, lots of great uh, charity charitable sources out there nowadays you know I really want to just motivate you and nudge you a little bit into maybe finding one finding one that um, actually uh, gives back to their people that are trying to help there's a lot of them out there nowadays that take all their money and use 90% of it toward administration 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 and you know paying their managers and stuff like that um, I'm part of a group or I know some people that are in a group called Oscar Mike they are uh, a veteran owned company that has two sides one side being a t-shirt and apparel hat company they do a phenomenal job go check them out at oscarmike.com but also they have a charitable organization it's charitable organization is a nonprofit that helps veterans stay on the move so this particular group uh, takes veterans brings them to their compound in Illinois um, disabled veterans and teaches them that um, the way to become healthy is to focus on their health. It's an amazing concept, isn't it? Just like what you guys are doing in this group. Uh, it's what they do out there in Illinois. I had a, a distinct honor to be able to participate in helping some of their athletes through the 24-hour course in Iceland the last two years. Um, phenomenal group of people, and this is what's really important about this group, I feel like, is 100% of the donations goes toward the athletes and their, their rehabilitation so you know some wounded warrior ish charities only like 93 per, uh, only seven percent actually goes to the um only goes to the people that are in need within oscar mike 100 percent of donate donations go to the um the rehabilitation and the, the week of of activities that they plan for the veterans and they do a great job and going to uh, obstacle course races keep keeping people motivated and helping people through the courses so if you get a chance go check out Oscar Mike I'm not trying to sell you but that's who I like that's who I, I like to promote and I, they don't pay me anything I don't get anything for it. it's just I'm just really impressed by those guys and you know people like that need all the help they can get as far as press goes so um, go check them out all right, so the second half of this video, we're going to talk about CLA, conjugated lineate acid. CLA is a supplement that has a few different kind of uh, uses. One big use is, that I feel like it's uh, great for is losing body fat and maintaining lean muscle mass. I've been really, I'm not really sold on a lot of different supplements because, you know, there's so many uh, varying reports on, on their uses and whether or not they work or not. Uh, there's a lot of medical studies on CLA, which is a fatty acid um, that's usually given to us through a diet of meat and milk. So if you're not eating a, a diet high in meat and milk, which we're probably not if you're in, in my group, uh, this is a good way to kind of reestablish that fatty acid into our diet. This particular fatty acid is really important for people that have what they, what they call is like slow metabolism. So um, if you're if you're pretty slow in breaking down fats, or if your metabolism is, or is rocking along pretty slow, or if you ha have high lipid counts, or um, if you just want to lose some body fats, um, if you want to just help things kind of progress along a little bit quicker, CLA is absolutely the way to go. I'm a firm believer in CLA. I took uh, almost a year break from it and re-established it into my diet over the last month and I lost 5% body fat and gained 6 pounds of muscle which resulted in me dropping down to 10% body fat. So if you get an opportunity 
um, get your blood work done, start taking CLA, and then see how it progresses over the uh, cycle of the, uh, the rest of this challenge. Or if you're one of our athletes, just integrate it into your normal nutrition, and um, we'll see if your body fat drops. Uh, now you can't keep on eating like a, you know, you know what, if you're taking it, it doesn't excuse you for bad diet, but if you're on a good diet, it will absolutely help it progress along. So that's integrated into your diet. Also along with that, chromium picolinate is another uh, great supplement for slow metabolism and also B vitamins. B vitamins you have to be careful with, but uh, most B vitamins you're going to pee out if you, if you uh, aren't utilizing them. So that's CLA, B vitamins, and chromium piconate for a slow metabolism. All right, so let's get that integrated into your diet, and you guys have a good weekend. Good luck on your run tomorrow, and you guys have a safe weekend. Peace.